28 years on, and this site is still standing. Like a weed in the ground, it's managed to stick to its roots, even in the face of the threat of closure due to government budget cuts. Our first feeling was, you know, where are these students going to go? Um, so your natural reaction being, you know, a social conscience, caring and support companies, how can we help? Hinton's got a long uh, history with providing care and support to vulnerable and disadvantaged people, so it was a, a perfect fit for all parties. Last summer, nearly 2,000 people signed a petition to save this site behind me. For them, it's not just your ordinary nursery. Old Tree is run by students with learning difficulties and mental health issues, serving as somewhat of a safe haven. It's nice. Um, okay. Well, I'm just like visiting people and working with Matt and Drew and everybody. It is a happy experience. Uh, Kevin, what's your favourite thing about here? Uh, sticky water, planting, seeds. For Heenton, saving the nursery was only just the beginning. They're now looking to the rest of the region to help it grow. It's a big site. Um, we're here to grow plants, fresh produce, um, fruit, veg, flowers. Um, but like anything, we need resource. Um, people time, volunteering time, uh, material supplies. Um, we do need to do a lot of work to bring um, the, the, you know, the, the standards up so that we can attract the public to come here. We want people of all ages and all backgrounds to, to come and experience this and really help make the students successful. Everything that's grown here and is sold is ploughed straight back into Old Tree Nursery. So as new produce hits the soil, the team at Heenton hope that with the rest of the region's help, they too can plant their own seed and watch Old Tree Nursery continue to grow. This is Roshni Patel for Big News in Wolverhampton.